this video we are going to walk through a coding solution to the classic two-way form binding react technical interview question so let's jump in so in the requirements we have to build a two-way binding component that keeps an input element and a text display perfectly in sync through local react state so the requirements are start with an empty string every keystroke must immediately appear inside the p tag that has a data test id of echo display and the input must be controlled and as always we shouldn't edit any of the existing data test ids as they are used for testing so if we go into solution mode and we come across here, we can see here, if I type sec prep, essentially it's, it's a controlled input. And as soon as we type, we should see it echoed below it like so. So I've just hopped out of solution mode. And now when I type, as you can see, it's an uncontrolled component. So the text will still appear in the input. However, we will not have that echoing in the P tag below it. So let's jump into the code now. So as always in our app.js, we have some basic tailwind styling and then we're rendering the two-way binding component. So then if we go into the two-way binding component, you can see here we have a H1 that displays two-way binding. Then we have the input here, which has the data test ID echo input. And again, it has some styling and a placeholder, but again, it's uncontrolled. And then we have a P tag here with the data test ID of echo display and some class names and it's rendering nothing. So I think the first thing we need to do is add some state. So I can say const text set text equals use state. And again, we will have an initial value of an empty string and we will simply import that from React like so. Then again, we want our input to be controlled. So we'll add a value attribute where that will be the text. And now I can add the event handler. So on change equals, and then we can get that event object. And then we can call the set text function and we can pass in the e dot target dot value. And then over here, so it's now controlled. So it should just type normally and it does perfect. So the next thing we need to do is then simply render it below as well. So if we go down here, we've got our echo display and inside the P tag here, we can simply render that text. So if I bring it across here, you can now see it is being echoed in that part below. So let's run the tests and see if they pass. Perfect, the tests pass. Let's run the test suite and see if all tests pass. Perfect, all the tests pass. So again, classic interview question, very simple, ensures you know the fundamentals of state management, form binding, you know, the difference between controlled and uncontrolled components. Um, as always, very simple, but can actually be kind of tough when you have, you know, an interviewer staring at you. So if you want to try it out for yourself, the link to the question is in the description and hopefully you got some value out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe and share it with a friend. It helps the channel out a lot and I will see you in the next one.